Okay, right. So, can you show me attention? And back. The first thing we're going to do, juniors, is some star jumps. Okay, so we're going to start. Hana, two, set, net, yasa, yasa, yo, yo, top, yo, to the side, il, e, sa, sa, oh, yo, chill, top, you, sit backwards. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten. One and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done, guys. Running on the spot. So we're going to do ten seconds of heel taps. Um, and just go as fast as you can. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Spider-Man jumps. Now, for those of you guys who did Zoom before, we want to see if we can jump off the screen. So a Spider-Man jump is a big star jump. You touch your toes and jump up really, really high. And you make yourself as big as possible. Okay? So 10 Spider-Man jumps. Ready, guys? Number one, touch, jump. See if you can jump off your own screen. Number two, touch, jump. Excellent, guys. Nice. Number three, touch, jump. Excellent. Yeah. Number four, touch, <clears throat> jump. Super. Number five, touch, jump. We're halfway there, juniors. Six, touch, jump. Excellent. Seven, touch and go. Can you jump even higher? Number eight, touch, jump. Two more. Number nine, touch, hop. And then the last one, ten, touch, jump. Excellent, guys. Well done. Mountain climbers, juniors. So do you remember mountain climbers? We put one foot in front of the other. And we are swapping our legs every single time. So, hands on the floor, juniors. Ten mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hand up, guys. Well done. Let's do some balance knees. So, we're going to start with our hands up by our tummy. We're going to go up and down. But notice I'm not putting my foot on the floor. I'm keeping my foot off the floor. If you just bring the, the screen down again. So, yeah. so Martin Bob's going to focus on my feet. See how I'm not touching the floor, just up and down this way. So thank you, sir, if you bring the screen back up again. So ready then, juniors. Let's see if we can do it without wobbling. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, guys. I'll swap sides. So I'm the tummy. Other knee up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, guys. Let's do side balances. So uh, we're going to put our foot to the side like we're leaning, and we're going to go hand on our hip, up and down, touching our thigh with our hand. So let's balance to the side, a bit like you're saving a goal. And then one, two, three. Four, it's tricky, this one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do the other leg now. So we're leaning sideways, we like we're saving a goal. Straight leg, okay, balancing, hand on your hip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good, eight, nine, and ten. Well done, guys. Let's do a little bit of a warm up. So let's start. Hands above our head, stretch up. So, hana, do, set, net, stretch forwards. Yasu, yasu, yoga. Yoga, bend to your left. Hana, do, set, net to your right. Yasu, yasu, yoga. Yoga. From here, we're going to stretch out to the side. Push our leg forwards. Like there's a ninja chair. Hana, do, set, Yep, gas up onto the heel, sit back, ninja squat, hana, do, set, net, gas, changing legs, so pushing to the side, hana, do, set, net, gas on your heel, weight on the back leg, sit back, hana, do, set, net, gas, and we're gonna unjaw, unjaw just means to sit down in Korean, okay, and we put our legs directly in front of us, okay? So this time we're gonna stretch forwards, 
trying to bend forward, trying to get our chin to touch our knees. So we're going to stretch forwards, grabbing the feet, grabbing the ankles, and pull high. Boom. Set. Neck. Yasa. Yasa. Yoga. Yoga. Lovely, guys. Bring your right leg inside. Left leg out. So again, we're going to do four to the front knee, four to the side knee, and then we're going to bring our leg out and peach up. So forwards, Hannah. Good. Set. Net to the side. Yasa. Yasa. Yoga. Yoga. So let's get that hand like a grabber. Okay. Grab onto the heel. Stretch it out, Hana. Set. Neck and then swap legs. Right left, right leg out, left leg inside. Let's stretch forward, Hana. Good. Set. Neck. Now, so let's go to our left knee, Hana. Good. Set. Now, so let's grab onto our ankle again with the hand, stretch it all the way out to straight, Hannah. Do, set, neck, dance, and bring our legs together, guys. Shake your legs loose. Let's do a butterfly stretch this one. And then we're going to put our nose on our toes. Stretch forward, Hannah. Do, set, neck, dance. Well done, guys. Legs apart. So. Try to get your legs as wide apart as you can, all right? The wider you get your legs, the higher your roundhouse kicks and your hook kicks and your side kicks are. So again, we're just gonna stretch forwards. We're gonna put our arms out in front of us and lean forwards, stretching forwards. Hunt, hook, set, neck. That's it, stretch to your left leg, Hunt, hook, set, neck. That's it, to your right leg, Hunt. Set, neck, that's what bring your legs together, guys. On, onto your fronts. We do some superhero stretching. We haven't done this for a while. I do this a lot with the ninjas. Basically, it's going to get your muscles in your tummy super strong. So we start with the Superman stretch, which is two hands out, legs off the floor, into the Batman stretch, so wide arms into Iron Man, perfect into let's call it the Hulk stretch. This way, guys. Scorpion stretch. One arm stretch. Lovely, guys. And jump up. Excellent, guys. Okay, so we're going to work on a ninja or junior so you don't punch you. Okay, so usually in the class, I get you to turn and face each other, and then you guys race. Today, you're going to race me. All right, so Master Bob is going to be watching, making sure everyone's got a good horse stance like this, good bow and arrow arms. So every time I count, we're going to punch and we're going to race each other. Now, as you're in your own home, you can actually key up. Okay, I'll just show you what I mean. Now, some of you have never key up before in class, but when you punch, you go, yeah, and you punch. All right? So I'm going to key up every time I punch, and we'll see if you guys are faster than me. So, ready, good. Into horse stance, bowing out arms. By the count. Ha! Yeah! Two! Yeah! Set! Yeah! 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 Yes, yeah. Yo, yeah. Yo, yeah. Yo, yeah. Yo, yeah. Attention. Okay, guys. Let's put our left foot, our right foot back. So we're in our sparring stance. Do you remember? Sparring stance is foot back, hands in this way to protect your body. We're going to do five front stretch kicks. And they look like this up and back down. So the idea is to get your leg as high as you can and then back down to finish. So ready, juniors? So our right leg's gonna kick first. Ready, ha, kick. And then back down to your sparring style. See how I'm not dropping my hands? Okay, two, kick. And then back down. So I like to get my leg in between my hands as I'm kicking, okay? Set, kick. And then back down. Do it. Next, kick. And back down, one more. That's one, kick. Good, and change your legs. We're gonna swap over, face the other side. Again, our hands up nice and high, guys. Ready, ha, kick. And then back down. Two, kick. Excellent, guys, well done. Set, up. And back down, good, guys. Next, kick. And 
right now. Excellent. That's okay. Double more. Yes, -o. And attention. Okay, so we're going to work on um, blocking today. We're going to go forwards and backwards, so we don't need too much space. Okay, so the first block we're going to do is Hadanmaki. Now, do you remember Hadanmaki is low block, stepping forward, yeah? So we're going to do two forwards and two backwards. So every time I count, we're going to step forwards, and then I'll show you guys when we step backwards. So if you show me ready stance, so we always step forward with our left leg. So stepping forward, low block, Hana. Step forward, good, we're going to freeze. Step forward again, two. Step forwards. Now, let's go backwards. Let me show you guys how you go backwards. Step backwards and you're blocked. Okay? So you're ha. Here we go. Have you got space? I need a little bit more space. Two. Excellent, guys. Let's go forwards. Ha. Now, without moving your legs, can you punch? Perfect. Without moving your legs, can you punch again? Lovely, guys. Let's go forwards. Hana. Super, guys. Can you, without moving your legs, can you punch? Can you punch again? Lovely. Let's go backwards. Hana. Back. Super. Punch without moving your legs. And again, two. Excellent, guys. Let's go backwards one more time. Hana. Good. Punch, two. Punch three. Excellent, guys. Let's try it as a whole three move. Let me show you guys first. Forwards, one, two. See how I don't move my legs on the punches, just on the, on the block. So ready, guys? Stepping forwards, huh. So block, punch, punch. Two punches to the body. And again, two, block, punch, punch. Nice guys, yeah. let's go backwards. Hana, block. Good, punch, punch. Good, let's go backwards one more time. Two, block, punch, punch. Attention. Now, well done, guys. So that is Hadan Maki, Tura Chundan Konga, Tura Chundan Konga. This time, Sandan Maki. Sandan Maki is high block. San sounds a bit like sun. Summer's in your eyes. So let's try from our ready stance position, that chunbi position. Stepping, excuse me, stepping forwards, high block. Hana. Good. Now, without moving your legs, middle punch. Two. Without moving your legs, high punch. Three. See the high punches to the head. Super guys. Step forward and high block. Hana. Forwards. Good. Now, middle punch to the body. Two. Middle punch the head, three. Excellent, guys. Now we're going to go backwards. Step back, Hana. Up with the arm. Super, guys. Middle punch. High punch. So even if you don't have too much space in your house, you can always practice blocking. Last one, stepping backwards, Hana. Up. Good. Middle punch. High punch. Good, guys. Love it. Attention. So the last block we generally do in the junior class is Aniso Hakurumaki, inside to out block. Right? So we step and we block inside and it's in line with our chin and we block this way. Right? So we're going to do Aniso Hakurumaki. So from our ready stance juniors, stepping forward with that left leg. Hana! Good. Now from here guys, middle punch. High punch without moving the legs. Excellent, guys. Yeah. Step forward, middle block, Hana. Good. Middle punch. Middle punch. Super, guys. Stepping backwards now, we might run out of space. Step back, Hana. Block. Good. Middle punch. Middle punch. Super, guys. Now, can you see on the punches, I don't think bring my arm up. I'm literally rubbing the side of my uniform and just popping and twisting my wrist. So it's a very small movement. The moment you do this, okay, you can't use your hips anymore. All right? So if I show you from the side how I rub the punch past this way, it's almost like a push, pushing motion. Okay? So we're stepping backwards. So on here, chumbi, let's go back to the start. Let's try um, one low, one high, 
one middle. And we'll add the three together, guys. Yeah, so let's go ready start to work. First move, let's do a low block. Good, let's do two punches. Middle punch, middle punch. Let's step forward and do a high block. Two, high block. Middle punch, high punch. Let's step back and do a middle block. Good, middle punch, middle punch. Last one, let's step back, low block. Middle punch, middle punch. So let's try going side to side. Okay, so I'm going to move over to my left over here, guys. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to look and we're going to go block. And then we're going to step forward and go punch. Now we're going to step forward as we punch. So hopefully you've got enough space to, uh, to do this. Now, because I'm facing you, actually we should be going this way to our left. Yeah, so if I show you ready starts, Look over your left shoulder this way. Step to your left block, Hannah. This way, low block. Okay. Now step forward with the back of the punch, two. Excellent, guys. And back to the center again. That's the first two moves of basic form number one, which is what you guys are learning at the white belt. Okay, so ready starts. Looking over our shoulder, turn to the side block, Hannah. One. Good, step forward and punch, two. Now, we're going to turn, Junes. I'm going to move your arm like an arrow this way. See how it goes back over my shoulder? And as my arm moves, my leg moves, we turn and we block the other way. All right? This is the bit that gets a lot of people confused. So from here, look over your shoulder, move your arm, move your leg, keep turning, and block. Excellent, guys. Step forward and punch. Super, guys. And attention. So now I'm going to have my back to you. Imagine I'm standing in front of the class, all right? And I've got my back to you. You're going to follow me this way, yeah? So can everyone see me okay, yeah, sir? Yeah. Right. So yep. ready, start. Looking to your left. Let's block. Ha. Block. Excellent. Step forward and punch two. Now, this lead arm. Chuck it over your right shoulder. Look over your shoulder behind you, all right? Bring your leg around. Step. Block. Perfect. And last one, step forward. Four. Super. If you can get these four moves right, the rest of the form is pretty easy. Okay? Back to bar. Let's do it two more times. Two more times. And then next week, we'll continue with the next set of moves from those four moves. That makes sense? So when I upload the video <coughs> to YouTube, if you want to revisit the lesson, and just practice those four moves. Fantastic, that's gonna set your form up really nicely. All right, so ready, start. Look over your left shoulder, turn and block one. Step and block. Step forward and punch two. This way, guys, lovely. So this front arm, let's put it behind us. Looking over our right shoulder. Okay, yeah, got it. Turn the leg, block. Good. Bend. Good. Step forward and punch four. Super, guys. And borrow one more time, guys. Sit one more time. So for those of you who are doing different forms, I am going to upload those forms for you guys to practice outside the class as well. I know we have been getting ready for a test in December, haven't we? Okay, so again, should be stunts. Last time, looking over our left shoulder. One. Step and block. Step forward and punch two. This way, guys. Arm like an arrow, looking over our shoulder. Turn three. Last step forward and punch four. And cheerio. All right, guys, now it's time for our pad and pillows. So if you can grab your pillow or your pad, or your target, and if someone is holding for you, brilliant today, or if you, if you have a partner in the room, you can actually, um, let's see, put the screen set. Um, you can actually have your partner hold the pillow for you, all right? So we're going to do a set of 10. So if you're training with someone and they're holding for you, and they're a student as well, after five kicks, swap with them. So everyone has a chance to kick. So when you hold your pillow, think about two hands, grabbing it and just holding it, like you're giving something to someone on a pillow. This one, all right? 
if you are lucky enough to have a paddle pad, it's very simple. You just hold it out with two hands away from your body to allow your heart to kick. I'm going to work on something called uh, jump back kicks. Jump back kicks. So if I just show you what we're going to do, I'm going to start by touch. Oh, it's just uh, this way. So by touching my target. When I say one, you're going to jump back, kick one, two, three, and then step forward again and touch your target. So can you see how I'm jumping back, kicking one, two, three, four, and then actually just step forwards and touch your target. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. And this is going to jump back kick because we're jumping backwards. Right, guys. So let's have our foot forwards, touching your target. Number one, hammer, jump back, kick. One, two, three, touch your target. Now, when you touch your target, you just think about keeping your hands up. You never want to be thinking about hands down because it's self-defense, protecting our bodies, yeah? So, number two, jump back, kick. One, two, three, and four. Just be mindful when you're kicking the pillow, guys. These are not designed to be kicked, so you might have to take your power down a little bit to help out your partner. But don't forget you can speed, you can still do speed stuff. Okay, touching the target. Number three, jump back, kick. One, two, three. And step forward, touching the target, making sure our hands are nice and high. Good. Number four, jump back, kick. One, two, three. Step forwards. Number five, jump back. One, two, three. Now, this is the point if you are with a partner, you can swap over and give them the pillow or give them the pad, yeah? If you're like me today, you're doing it all yourself, you're gonna carry on with the next five, yeah? And again, number six, jump back, kick, one, two, three, step forwards, touch your target, super good. Nice. Number seven, jump back, kick, one, two, three, step forwards, touch your target. Eight, jump back, kick, one, two, three, touch your target. Love you guys. Two more. Nine, jump back. One, two, three, step forwards. Last one, guys. Ten, jump back. Kick. One, two, three, step forwards. And attention. Now, why would you use a jump back kick? You may be asking, why do I need to jump back? Well, if someone is coming at you very, very fast and you just step, they may catch you. If Master Bob comes at me super fast, I jump back. And now I've got space to throw my kicks at him. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah, that's why you would use your jump kick. Now, we're gonna do uh, sorry, two kicks and four punches. I call these ones machine gun punches. So as a pillow holder, two kicks on the pad, hold the pillow to your side, for the machine gun punches, all right? If you are a pad holder, all right? Forward and to the side for the machine gun punches. So how it works, if I just show you guys first, I'm gonna jump back, two kicks, one, two, step down, one, two, three, four. But you guys are gonna go bum, 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 like a machine gun punch, bum, 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 bum. this way. So two kicks, four machine gun punches. Right, or they are known in martial arts as a jab punch. Or I like so I like the machine gun punch. I think it sounds better. Okay, so touch your target. Number one, jump back. Two kicks. One, two, four punches. And then touch your target. Just make sure you're close enough to move. Okay. And again, number two, jump back. Kick. One, two, four punches. Okay. Obviously. I'm slowing the punches down so people can see, but I want you guys to go as fast as you can with those punches. Right? The faster, the better, okay? Number three, jump back, kick. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Again, you might have to take the power down on the pillows because they're not designed to be punched, but on a pad, you can whack it as hard as you want, okay? Number four, jump back. Two kicks, one, two, four punches. <laughs> this way, guys. Excellent. You see those machine gun punches? Can everyone see my belt? Come from the hips. Hips, hips, hips. See how that body turns and those hips rotate? It's not like this. It's turn, 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 turn. 
getting your belt to do this kind of motion here. All right, here we go, touch your target. Number five, jump back. Two kicks. One, two, four machine gun punches. I want to do my machine gun punches. My other hand is just in the center of my body to protect myself. I'm not doing that today. I'm going to keep it nice and high, yeah? All right, touch your target, guys. If you, uh, if you need to swap with your partner now because you've done five, feel free to give them a pad and a pillow or a cushion. Okay. Number six, jump back. Two kicks. One, two, four machine gun punches. One, two, three, four. And then touch your target to reset your stance. Okay. Always, always reset whenever you come to your drill. Okay. Number seven, jump back. Two kicks. One, two, four machine gun punches. One, two, three. Four, and then back to touch your target to make sure you are resetting for the drill. Okay, reset for the drill. All right, guys, so let's go back again. Number eight, jump back. Two kicks. One, two, four machine gun punches. One, two, three, four. Reset our target, guys. Well done. Okay, two more squats for this best finish. Number nine, jump back. Two kicks. One, two, four machine gun punches. One, two. Three, four, back guys, well done. Last one, number 10, jump back. Two kicks, one, two, four machine gun punches. One, two, three, four. Nice guys, keeping our hands up. This one, boom, 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 boom. See how the shoulders are moving, yeah? Lovely guys, and bar guys, so this time, we have that, we're going to do Pakiso Anaro Chagi, outside to in kick. Now, pillow holders, you're probably going to get the pillow kicked out of your hands, and it's probably going to head towards the floor. So don't worry too much about holding on tight. All right? For the pad holders, again, because you've got a tight grip, you can just keep holding this time. We're going to do outside to in kick, and then smash the pillow or the pad into the floor. All right? The idea is to splat it. Straight down, all right? So if you have a pad, you can hold on to it for the pillow, aim for the floor, yeah? So hammer kicks, we've done hammer kicks in class before, all right? So let's start with our foot back. So we're gonna do four kicks on each leg, four kicks on each leg. So if you are training with, again, someone in your household, then every two kicks, two kicks, sorry, swap your legs, and then everyone gets a chance to do eight kicks, okay? So from here, guys. Foot back. Number one, hammer kick. And then step back. See how after my kick, guys, I'm stepping back, like right? the jump back that we did, to make lots of space. So we stay safe. Okay, my hands are now nice and high. Left. Number two, hammer kick. Step back. Excellent, guys. Well done. So again, if you want to swap over with your partner, maybe you have a go now on your leg. Okay. Stay on the same side, guys. Number three, hammer kick. Step back, create that space you want. Good. Okay. Number four, hammer kick. Step back, create that space. Now, again, if you're with a training partner, give them the pad now. Okay. And everyone's going to swap sides, swap legs. Now we do the other side. Okay. Puck yourself under the chain, outside to in kick. Ready, guys? Hammer. So kick and drive it down. So I'm kind of going a little bit slower than normal for the guys watching so you can see what we're doing. But if we go too fast, you might not be able to see the kick. Okay, so I'll slow it right down for you. Number two, hammer kick straight down the center line. Yeah. You're able to get smashed down with the heel right on top of the target here. Okay, so again, if you have a training partner, give them the pad now. You get to do a couple of kicks. Okay, number three, hammer kick straight down the centre, guys. That's it. Good. Lovely. And last one, number four, hammer kick. Super, guys. Well done. So let's have a go now at circle kicks. All right. So again, for the guys that haven't um, held before, if you have one of these, it's two hands this way, pulling out. I, I use my nose as my target here, so right in front of my nose here. Yep. If you have a pillow, it's one hand here, one hand here. And again, 
You might want to start low, and if the kick is easy, go a bit higher, a bit higher, a bit higher. What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to circle kick. So we're going to do this motion, circle. You see how we're making a circle with our leg, right? So last time we did this one, where we came from that side, now we're going to go the other side and make a circle. So if I just show you on the pad, on the pillow, sorry, Last I was going to hold it this way, a bit higher for you, sir. And I'm just going to whip it with my, with my foot, okay? Whip it. So we're going to do the kick. Do you want to do the pillow right down to the floor so this can be seen? So, whip it, okay, this way. All right, guys, let's have a go at Anisor Hakuro Chavi. So I'm going to do two or three on the pad, then I'm going to face you guys and I'm going to do it to fresh air so you guys can see what we're doing, yeah? You guys hit those, those pillows or those pads every time. So let's take one foot back, guys. Ready? No more. Pump. Kick. And then step back. Excellent, guys. Again. And two. Kick. Pillows. Excellent. Excellent. Number three. Kick. Lovely. I'll kick fresh out. Yeah? So we're going to do a set of five, yeah? Number four. Kick. Inside to out kick. Set. Master boss watching. Five kick. So if you're with a partner, give them the pad now so you can carry on kicking. Okay. Or if you like me, you're doing fresh air, we're going to carry on. Number six kick. And then step back. Notice that you finish with those hands up, Julius. Yeah. Not dropping our hands down like that. Number seven kick. Hands up, get into it. So Master Bob's saying yeah, excellent kicking guys, yeah? Very good. Number eight, kick. Reset. Good, two more guys. Nine, kick. Reset. Good. Ten, kick. Reset, good guys. And five. Okay, so let's have a go at doing the other leg now. The other leg sometimes is a bit trickier. So we're going to go <laughs> the other leg this side, and then we just circle and kick with the... Usually, I think for most of it, it's going to be your left leg, because then you probably kick with your right leg first, yeah? So same drill for the pillow holders. We're going to hold it here, okay? And just keep holding it so okay? We're just going to circle. You see how we're just kicking the cushion, cushion out of the way? I'll do fresh air, so. okay? So you guys kick the pads, I'll kick fresh air, and then we'll all do it together, yeah? So after five kicks, if you swap with your partner, if you have a partner, training partner with you today, yeah? So let's have our, right, our left foot back. So inside to out kick. Punt, kick. And then reset your stance, right? So hitting the pad. Now, if it's too easy, maybe get the pad a little bit higher so your partner has a bit more of a challenge. Number two, circle kick. Back to our stance. So finishing. Always, always with those hands high, never hands low. Okay, number three, circle kick. Hands high, okay, stance a little bit low. Okay, number four, circle, back to your pad points. Again, hands are high. Five, circle. So if you want to swap with your partner now, so they can do five kicks, or if you like me, if you're training on your own, keep going, guys, yep. Here we go, number six, circle. Now I want you guys, if you can, to throw the fastest kick you can do. The faster your kick, the more power you're gonna have, all right? Number seven, circle, quick as you can, guys. Lovely. Number eight, circle. Good. Two more. Nine, circle. Remember to finish with your hands high. And 10, circle. Perfect, guys. And attention. All right, guys. So we're going to do a blocking drill now using the pads, using the pillows or the cushions. Okay, so Master Bob. Is going to do this at me, push the pillow towards my tummy. Now we all know from noodle sparring that if the pad comes towards you, you pat it down with your hand. That's that low block that we did in class up and down the room. Yeah. 
So he's going to come forward. I'm going to push the pillow down. So if you're holding for someone, I want you to take a big step, like you're giving them the pad or the pillow, and I'm going to step back and pat it down. Now, if you manage to touch your, your junior's tummy like this, they have to do a star jump as a forfeit. <laughs> so what do we do when someone comes towards us juniors? We step backwards so we don't get tagged. Does that make sense, guys? Yep. So from here, I want you to touch your target now. So you're nice and close. So I've got to move. Huna, block. And then reset your stance. Touch your target. Two, touch, and back. Now, don't be afraid, pillow and pad and um, cushion holders, to go fast. The faster you go, you're going to make it much better for your partner. Three, block, pat it down, guys. Excellent. And reset your target. Four, pat it down. Moving backwards. So can you see how I'm moving backwards and pushing? Moving backwards and pushing. Okay. Five. Pat. Lovely. And reset. Now, if you're training with someone, feel free to swap over that pad and pillow now. All right. Make sure that uh, you get a chance to have a block as well. And reset your targets. So you now my hand, because I'm close to Master Bob, my hands are actually a bit higher than normal. All right. But if I'm here, my hands are there. If I step back, I can actually start bringing my hands down because I'm safe. As I get close to Master Bob, my hands are going to be a bit higher, all right? And again, number six, look, and then step back in, touch your target, hands a bit higher, guys. Seven, look, step forward, really go for it, cushion holders, see if you can tag them. Eight, look, step back, lovely guys, touch your target. Nine, look, super. One, ten. Excellent, guys. And relax. Now, for the cushion holders, this is probably the favourite one they get to. They get to swing the cushion at your head, like this. Bop. Or if you have a pad, you get to swing your pad at your partner's ear, like this. So you're going for the ears, all right? So what we do when Master Bob goes for my ear is we do our middle block. We put our arm in the way, this way. Over here, so you can see. So, you, can you guys sit? So, if you go this way, this way, we put our hand in, we go slowly, block. See how my arm goes this way, yeah? And it blocks it. Like that block we did at the beginning of class, yeah? But if your hands are here, it's a bit slow. So, your hands are here, you just block. Like that. Okay, so let's have a go at, uh, well, actually, we'll do it over here. So, otherwise, the, the cushion mm -hmm. is going to be right here. So, okay. so, I'm just adjusting muscles so you guys can see. So, hands up. So he's going to swing for my ear. Now, if I don't block, bop, I get a bop around the head. That's what we don't want to happen. So hands up. One, block. Just pop it straight in the way. Good. Okay, and hands up. Number two, block. Straight up, block it in the way. Hands are ready. Three, block. Perfect. So you can see how much of a smaller movement it is. When we go up and down, we make it really big. But in real life, it's very, very small. Okay. Four. Last one for this side. Five, block. Now, give the pillow if you have to to your partner. If you're like me and just do it on your own, stay here while we swap. And then we'll carry on. Our hands are high. Not down here, remember, up here. Five, so six, block. Down. Lovely. So we don't necessarily have to move backwards. If we're quick enough with our arm, we can stay nice and safe. Yeah. Seven, block. And in the way. Back down again to reset. Eight. Block, down, nine, block, yeah. 10, block. Now, here's the fun bit, juniors. I have no idea what Master Bob's gonna do, okay? He might do that, or he might do that. I don't know yet, okay? So he's gonna go over here, so this is. So I've gotta watch that pillow like a hawk, and we're gonna have a go, four goes each. So I'm watching this pad, So let's have a go. Now, I want your cushion or pad or pillow holder to do that 
on your own. So rather than me going, off you go, okay? When I say go, just do it four times and see if your pillow or cushion holder can catch you out. So ready, guys? Master Bob and I play along with you guys, yeah? So, ready, four goes, go! That's my four goes. Now, if you have a partner, give the pad over. Let's do another four goes, yeah? So everyone gets a chance to have a go at this game, yeah? So ready? Touch your target, make sure you're close enough. Go! Nice guys. And time. Well done, juniors. Okay, pop your pad down. Put your pillow down. Let's do a little bit of fitness to finish. Okay? So we're going to start with squatting. Now, squatting is an excellent exercise for building strength in your legs. As far as exercise is concerned, it's one of the best movements for power. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do a squat hold. So rather than going up and down, we're going to sit down and we're going to put our arms up and we're going to hold this squat for 10 seconds. Okay? So if we do like a cheat squat like this, we're not really going to get strong legs. So we have to get nice and low. But try not to do this. Try not to do this, juniors, like bend your back. Back straight, hips out, sit down, back straight. All right? So we're going to do a 10 second hold. So arms out. Ready, guys? Sit down. Un. Do. Set. Neck. Dasa. Dasa. Yoga, yada, aha, yada, well done guys, come up, super job, okay, let's do a knee hold, okay, so we're going to bring our knee up, and we're going to point our toes, and we're going to hold this position for 10 seconds, so ready guys, if you start hopping about like this, you lose your balance, stop, and then reset and see if you can stay still, yeah, so knee up, hold in, hana, do, Set, neck, dasa, dasa, yoga. Yo, that is really good balance, guys. That's really good. Let's do the other leg now. So I turn to the side, you guys. Pointing our toes, bringing our knee nice and high in, huh? Do, set, neck, dasa, dasa, yoga, yo. So this is to help you with your shoulders. Right? It's going to seem really a strange thing to do, but I want you to. Bring your shoulders up and pinch them as high as you can. And then we're going to drop them down like this. Ready, guys? And hunch. One, two, three, four, five, drop. Good. Roll your shoulders. Good. Let's go up again. Pinch. Hunch. Two, set, neck. Dance and relax. Roll your shoulders. Perfect, guys. Good. So let's bring our arm. We do a lot of punching up behind our head. Pull on that elbow, huh? Do, set, neck, dance up. Bring it across our body. Give ourselves a hug on the arm, huh? Do, set, neck, dance up. And then behind the head, pull down, huh? Do, set, neck, dance up. Last one across the body. Give yourself a hug, huh? Do. Set, neck, dance. Love you guys. And come to attention. And bow. Well done today, guys. Excellent class. Don't forget, as juniors, if you want to do any of the family classes or adult classes at seven o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays, feel free to come in. Right? Other than that, guys, well done today. If I don't see you, I'll see you guys next week. I'm swimming up. I'm coming to have a chat with you guys now. Okay.